Uh, St. Vincent's House started over 60 years ago and it was actually started by the Episcopal Church. It was a church here in Galveston called St. Augustine's and there really was a need to serve the very vulnerable of our populations. And since then, I'm really excited to see how St. Vincent's House has grown. One of the most important things that my Aunt Frida taught me as a kid growing up, I always be of service. So I like the idea that the people here, the ones who volunteer, the ones who are on staff, always want to be of service. The people who come here, you know, they, they, some of them maybe don't have enough money. Some of them are having a bad day. So I kind of talk with everyone. We have conversations. Sometimes we laugh. Sometimes we maybe cry, you know, but I just try to uplift them in whichever way I can. We do what's called an integrated care model, and here at St. Vincent's House, not only do we have the ability to help keep people in their homes, we have a very aggressive homelessness prevention program, which helps people with their electricity, their rent, we also do financial counseling, we have a transportation vehicle, and especially since COVID, we have really focused the services that we provide. We now have an expanded pantry that we relocated to the downstairs area so that we can be safe during COVID, and have increased our services by about 173%. With many of our travelers, our travelers are what we call our homeless friends, uh, we saw that they needed um, a very safe and dry place to put their clothes and their belongings, so we started a backpack program. This really makes a real difference to me and I think to everybody else too. In addition to the social service side, we have amazing collaborations with UTMB that allows us to have 11 clinics here on site that include everything from a chronic care clinic that's available Monday through Friday to specialty clinics that include neurology, dermatology, pulmonology, internal medicine, psychiatry, and many other clinics. We also have physical therapy, occupational speech therapy, all here on our campus. I think just at the School of Medicine clinic, we probably staff about 20 to 30 students per clinic, and that's three times a week. Uh, so you're talking about about 100 medical students, PAs and nursing students, just for that clinic. Um, but then there are those other clinics that happen throughout the week. So I'd say you're looking at about 300 student shifts per week just to get everything going. So it's a ton of student hours that pour into this place to keep, keep the machine moving forward. Uh, our mandate from UTMB is to ensure that patients without insurance or underinsured are able to receive access to care. We have so many families, especially right now with COVID. We are so excited to be the first site here in Galveston to do a COVID vaccine clinic for a very vulnerable population. We're very thankful for, our, again, our partnership and collaboration with UTMB and also the Galveston County Health Department for giving us the opportunity to serve our community in such a meaningful way. I'm Susan Seidensticker, the Director of Community and Population Health at UTMB. We're here today giving over 90 first doses of the COVID vaccine. Uh, we'll be back in three weeks for the second for these individuals. UTMB and St. Vincent's House have a long-standing partnership to support the vulnerable population of Galveston, the ones who may not frequent the same sources of care that other people have ready access to, but who are just as deserving to make sure that their health is protected. You can imagine the levels of anxiety that you and I live, but imagine being an immigrant that is undocumented and already the fear and anxiety to live in that world, but you add a pandemic like COVID to that, and the depression and anxiety is very real. Pues, cuando vine venía con un poquito de miedo, pero gracias a Dios, el personal es muy amable y me dieron mucha seguridad y mucha confianza y me solventaron mi problema. I was a bit scared, but when I got here, I feel comfortable and I felt safe to ask for what I needed. We are just another extended hands and feet of Jesus and we get to show people love and bring them hope by getting them a place to live so they're not homeless anymore or even with a place to live, we've helped them prevent homelessness. It's always been a pleasure for us to um, come to St. Vincent. It's, it's really like coming home. You don't feel judged, you're not looked at in a certain way for needing help. We are so blessed with amazing staff, 
who give their heart and soul, our volunteers that help us answer the phones or deliver food, uh, our donors that mail us checks that allow us to continue our mission and expand what we do, our board who is so supportive of this mission, and again, for the Episcopal Diocese of Texas. For had it not been for the Diocese of Texas, St. Vincent's House would not exist, and the support that we receive from the Episcopal Diocese of Texas is tremendous. Our tremendous partners, such as Family Service Center, that help us provide mental health services here at St. Vincent's House, UTMB and the numerous clinics that we have, and of course our volunteer dentists that provide services here to our Saturday Extraction Clinic. Your prayers and your thoughts and your donations, thank you so much for all that you do for us here at St. Vincent's House.